Next example, a spherical balloon is being inflated. At what rate is its surface area changing with respect to its radius when its radius is 10 centimeters? So the first thing to figure out was the dependent variable, what's the independent variable? The surface area is changing with respect to the radius. So the surface area of the sphere or the spherical balloon is the dependent variable and that's in centimeters squared and the independent variable is the radius of the sphere. So that's in centimeters. And to relate these two variables, we know that the surface area of a sphere is equal to four pi r squared. So ultimately what we wanna find is the instantaneous rate of change of the surface area of the sphere when the radius is equal to 10 centimeters. But before we do that, let's find the instantaneous rate of change of the surface area when the radius is some general value A. So to do that, we would uh, use the difference quotient and uh, we're gonna use this uh, equation that we made here. So the surface area with respect to R is equal to four pi R squared. So plugging in A plus H for R, we would end up with four pi a plus h squared minus the surface area when the radius is a. So we would just plug in a for r. So that would be four pi a squared. And this is all over h. So simplifying this further, the a plus h squared, we would foil it, we would end up with this bracket. Then we distribute the four pi inside the bracket. And then at this point, the four pi a squares would cancel out. So continuing this up here, we would end up with 8a pi h in the um, numerator plus 4 pi h squared, and this is all over h. We wanna cancel out the h in the denominator, so we would factor out the h, so we'd get h, 8a pi plus 4 pi h all over h. H is cancel out and we're left with 8a pi plus 4 pi h. And then remember the instantaneous rate of change happens when h approaches zero. So all of this would go to zero. So this would be our final answer. So this is the expression 8a pi for the instantaneous rate of change of the surface area of a sphere when its radius is equal to a. And now that we have this general expression, we can just plug in our radius that we're trying to find of 10. So eight times 10 times pi, and that gives us 80 pi. And in terms of the units, um, rate of change is a change in the dependent variable per one unit change in the independent variable. So this would be centimeters squared per centimeter. So that there is our final answer. So as a recap, what we did, found out the dependent independent variable, related them in an equation. Then we found out the instantaneous rate of change uh, when the radius is equal to a general value A by using the difference quotient, algebraically manipulating it, we get 8A pi for the uh, instantaneous rate of change expression. And then plugging in our specific radius of 10 we end up getting 80 pi centimeter squared per centimeter. Now, again, you could have just right away, instead of making a general expression, you could have just put 10 right away here instead of A, and then, uh, and then algebraically done it, and you would have got to 80 pi right away. However, as I said, I always recommend getting a general expression first. Another thing you could have done is use the preceding following method or the centered interval method. So you would pick points that were very close like 9.9 .9 and 10.1 and then do the average rate of change between those points. But either way, you should get uh, either the exact instantaneous rate of change like we did in this question of 80 pi centimeter squared per centimeter or something very close.